Once we have the power and the motor terminals connected, we do want to, for safety and to make sure there's no unintended consequences, we do want to measure the resistance on the input and the output. Uh, just measure between the three input phases. What we're looking for is, is consistency. And definitely looking for no shorts. Also, we will measure to the ground connection, just to make sure we're not shorted to ground before we apply power to the VFD. Also, on the motor side, we want to check to make sure the motor is connected. Check for motor resistance. Should be a very low ohm reading. And as well, check to ground, just to make sure there's no shorts going to the motor. Okay, that all looks good. So the next thing we will do is power up the drive and check for voltage. We will set our meter on AC volts. The system we're testing with here is a 208 volt power supply. So we measure L1, L2, 207, 1 to 3, and 2 to 3. So we do have proper voltage. Power back down, and let's put the cover back on the drive. Replacing the cover, be careful, on the, especially on this size drive, that the HMI connector does come completely through the opening. Tighten down the Phillips screw connections. And reinstall the keypad. Put the bottom in first and then snap in the top.